Well, with front runner status, at least in Iowa, comes sc extra scrutiny. And Michelle Bachman's husband, Michelle Bachman's husband, Marcus, has been under scrutiny recently for the practices at his Christian counseling clinic and a radio interview that he gave last year where he referred to gays as barbarians. So for more on this and other 2012 politics, let's bring in MSNBC political analyst Richard Wolf and Jonathan Martin, a senior political reporter for Politico, the man who is all over the 2012 campaign. So Richard Wolf, I want to start with this. On this issue yep. of the barbarian comment, Marcus Bachman actually today, he tells the Minneapolis Star Tribune that he believes that radio interview was doctored. He told the paper, quote, I was talking in reference to children, nothing, nothing to do with homosexuality. That's not my mindset. That's not my belief system. That's not the way I would talk. We'll play. We've got the whole unedited version of that radio interview. Uh, and the, the blogger who posted it denies that it was somehow doctored. Here's the full context. Okay. What do you say when your teenager says she's gay? What do you say to Christian parents who come up with this? Well, I think you clearly say um, what, what is the um, understanding of God's Word on homosexuality. And I think that it, this is no mystery that a child or pre-adolescent, particularly adolescents, will, will question um, and wonder about sexuality. That's nothing new in the, under the sun since the beginning of time. Yeah. <laughs> but we sh I don't think we should take that as because we wonder or we think or we question. Does that uh, take us down the road of homosexuality? Could you add the word experiment to that? Well, uh, certainly, they, 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 there's, that, that, there's that curiosity. But again, we, we like, you know, it, it is as if we have to understand barbarians need to be educated. They need to be um, disciplined. And just because someone feels it or thinks it doesn't mean that we're supposed to go down that road. That's what's called the sinful nature. And we have a responsibility as parents and as authority figures not to encourage such um, thoughts and feelings to move into the action step. Richard Wolf, clearly it, the Bachman campaign is concerned enough about the perception of this of this radio interview that was making the rounds that they put Marcus Bachman out there to have this interview with the Star Tribune. Yeah, well, who knew that uh, someone with the name Bachman would be in the Romney situation of trying to deny the undeniable? I mean, you can't be make such an emphatic statement as in nothing, nothing I said has anything to do with homosexuality and then have the tape out there. It, it looks bad, it sounds bad, and I'm afraid it opens up what is a bigger problem, not just for the Bachmans, but maybe for us and and political spouses everywhere, which is, what is the right role for someone, male or female, when their spouse is running for president? And I, I don't think Buckman has found the right position, and we found that President Clinton didn't, found, uh, didn't have the right position right. last time around. There, there's a, there's a, a partner of a candidate situation going on here as well. But Jonathan Martin, I thought I think it was, you, you do what you saw what Marcus Bachman did doing that interview, trying to trying yeah. to f essentially fix this, and then there was word today that came out that they decided that they quit their church after they found out mm -hmm. about some practices that they thought uh, wouldn't go over well, I guess with the with uh, Middle America. Is that they're they're clearly concerned that they're going to be marginalized? Yeah, it's interesting, Chuck. For somebody who is an unapologetic. Um, uh, sort of anti-establishment candidate, she is taking some steps here to uh, to write the campaign and to, and to uh, I think, avoid some uh, tough coverage. So I think it is an interesting bow to uh, the sort of mainstream demands of, of a national campaign. Right. Um, but, Chuck, what's so interesting about Bachman is that she's somebody who has made her name on, on the, the culture wars right. as a Minnesota state senator and then certainly when she came to Congress in 06, but she's a savvy enough player to, in the last four years, have recognized that, that, uh, that it's the fiscal issues that have saliency now and right. that are paramount. And she's now become this sort of reinvented Tea Party candidate, and that's why she's getting traction, I think, in this campaign. But she's got these roots in the cultural conservative movement wing right. of the party that are now being talked about and brought about that to try and navigate. Well, Richard Wolf, I had somebody say to me, well, what part of this is gotcha? This is her belief. 
She doesn't yeah. believe you are born gay. Right, unless you're trying to backtrack from making that statement, in which case, is the backtrack insincere or, or, or was the first statement insincere? Was the church membership tied to the start of a campaign or not? Anything that makes her less authentic, less driven by principle, fundamentally right. weakens her brand as being the truth teller, the unconventional yeah, outsider. Talker, yeah. That's a problem.